All right, Pants of Vance, this is for you. This is another video, what to do on Switches. In fact, I even just learned a little bit of something, something cool. Um, we're gonna get into this here. Notice this, okay? Um, second man playing uh, on Leo. So he goes, Impo is covering right side zone responsibility. Leo is first. So if he's on right, I cover left. Very simple, okay? So what do I do? Well, the movement is uh, grab boost. So grab the pads, follow the lifeline pads. Notice that my flip here doesn't really do anything in terms of movement. A lot of you lower elos, you will do it. You're going to fucking move way too fast on this. You got to wait. It, technically, if he has a really big clear, it's going to go over me. So I'm banking on the fact that if it plays close, which it does, and he goes off the wall, that happens. Okay, so that's the next. That's the first thing. Now, what do we do here? The play develops. Uh, this guy's just doing nothing, Chad. I could just play my position. Full boost spawns. I play regular second man. But what happens on the switch? Okay, let's look. So I'm not going to cross the field and go haywire. I'm going to fucking relax, okay? First thing is relax. I'm going to rotate deep. Something that I forgot to mention is that you guys like to go close and then go here and then the ball lands way over you. What you need to do is, is something called the scrub killer rotation, which is you go here, you check deep, then you rotate second man. That is huge. Okay. It's something that I didn't stress enough in my coaching sessions when I was, uh, when I was coaching people. So I check deep always, always, always check deep right here. Any, any, like any of the, like movement where I'm taking my ball off the cam is usually just to make sure that I'm on the pad lines. So I'm on pad, 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 right? That's what I'm doing. I either follow this pad line where I cut in like this, or if I need to take a little bit wider, I'll go like this. Right? Or I'll just at least maybe grab pad, pad, and come here like this. You get what I'm saying? Always on pads, right? Come here, down like this. I am never crossing this line up until I know I need to. And look how easy this play is to manage. Look how easy this is. Look, he takes it. I, I'm, I'm barely over this line. I'm still on the back post, like this, this front post line right here. This, I'm, taking, I'm second man, so this is front post line. I'm not crossing this imaginary line. If I'm even here, it's even better because then I give my sp myself ample space to turn and then receive. Any second man, by the way, and 99% of your games are going to be that the second man will love to push up. All he's doing is slapping into the corner. All you need to do is not get caught in that. Let him go. There's no threat. What's the threat? He's got no shot. The guy's having to mechanically make some weird ass aerial. He's having to go from here to shoot it there. The majority, not, bro, the power that he's going to get is going to be a fucking tiddlywink every time. It's so easy to handle. So look, check deep in the second man. I want to rotate sideline, but I'm prospecting this. I wait. Okay, Chad, go ahead. It's like a kid having a temper tantrum. It's like, do whatever you want. Do whatever you like. Take. Look at my teammate. Ranked in general. And this is where I spammed in chat. I got it. Okay? That's why I'd spam in chat. I got it. Why the fuck is this guy crossing his zone? He gets the full. I'm get a free dribble and he wants to... Oh, God. Fucking brain dead ranked players in a nutshell, right? That's what you're dealing with. I got to deal with it too, okay? But this is why you subscribe and you like and you comment so we get the engagement up so the YouTube algorithm likes this video. It sends it to more people and that way you get less M poos on your team. Just change the M outright out of your name. Just change it to poo. And it's fitting, right? This is why you, you, you help me out so I can help you out. Look at that. Free. It's so easy, man. I'm telling you. And, I mean, look at Johnny Boy. Look at Johnny Boy. Look at this video. I'm turning on face cam. We'll turn on face cam. I just saw this the other night. Like, last night. When you don't have any boost. Look, 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 at, look, at, look at how they play this, man. Is it not carbon copy what I talk about? Look at the position in tournaments. I'm teaching you tournament play style. Not, the ranked, it's going to work to an extent, but you're going to have people who monkey in general. I'm teaching you how to succeed at the highest level in pros. That was a really weird rotation by Wellis, by the way. I think that was totally strange. This is Wellis's POV, by the way. He was somebody in B+, who used to hang out all the time. Um, somewhat toxic. He's not too bad. Not compared to the, to the other buffoons that populate the, uh, the rank. 
well as attacking the near post now. He's not able He's to, to rotate contact, back. But he does By the way, just want you to know, Wellis is on a they do look vulnerable. mobile hotspot in here. Look at this. Third it man. Like scoring chances are being creating relative ease, which is yeah, good That's news. okay. So just force it. That was weird by Sosa. Sosa should have been one, one to receive. Now memory is a free dribble. That could have been awkward. He whiffs, and that's exactly what I'm talking about. Wellis is in a forced position. They're on a forced position, by the way. And then Cheese gets, uh, until they get a really, really, really good clear. Parth gets a shot. He gets a really good tackle, and they get to hit and get possession. Now the position's equalized. Okay, so now it's equalized. Now what do you do? Same shit that I was talking about. Look at his movement. Look at his movement. It's literally fucking carbon copy. Same shit. What was I talking about? What was I talking about? Is this not the same thing? I'm telling you, it doesn't matter what rank you're at. They're going to do the same shit. They're just not going to execute it as, as much. Can they redeem themselves? Look at this. Cheese shouldn't cut there, I don't think. Because now Wellis is in a really weird spot. Sosa with the thing, and now they're... Oh, that was a really... Honestly, they should have been scored on. I'm telling you, I played against G2 before. I played against G2. They're incredible. They would have they would have fucking scored that. Like they don't miss. Like Jane Apps, like like T Bates, I'm telling you, he's not kidding when he says that Jane Apps is like one of the best. <laughs> when he says he's the best striker on the fucking planet. I'm telling you, Jane Apps is so fucking dirty. It's not even funny. It's not even funny. By the way, I've heard he's actually a massive stoner. <laughs> And uh, somebody who was a friend of JNAPS used to hang out with them all the time. They used to smoke all the time. <laughs> Parth. Amazes me that that guy's anywhere near the pro level. If they're pros, I should be pro, right? Beautiful. Yeah, good. Yeah. Redheads, Redheads, zero, 0 So I'm telling you, man, it's carbon copy. It's carbon copy. I'm giving you the right tools. I'm not feeding you with bullshit, not feeding you misinformation. I gain absolutely nothing. I gain nothing but a view to release like 8,000 hours, 9,000 now worth of content scrunched into 10 minutes now. I gain nothing. I just want you guys to prosper. That's all I want. I want you guys to prosper. That's why I release this shit. Much love. I'm going to bed. Good night.